there is a wonderful chapter on Shah Rukh where the first time you meet him and you go with a certain baggage because A, you're awestruck, you expect to meet a big star and you're completely disarmed because he's so normal, he's warm, he's caring, he's very respectful towards your father. They have a relationship completely independent of... I mean, it was... Uh I remember the day so clearly etched in my head, like it's, it's like it happened yesterday. Um, I grew up with movie stars that were stalwarts, that were luminaries, that we literally looked up to, like Mr. Bachchan, you know, when he walked into the room, there was a sense of like, you know, like, like glory, someone magnificent has walked in. So there was this stardom that I had read as being a producer's son, Stars were always put on a pedestal. We were always the poorer parties. We were the ones that had to kind of succumb to their stardom, look up to their uh, full of awe because they were the ones who made the movies happen. So I grew up feeling movie stars were like unapproachable entities. I had then lost track with the generation because I was in my college days and I was touching base with my father's side of the business much later when he took me to meet uh, Shah Rukh to sign him for Duplicate. And I had never met somebody who was a young movie star who was so loved at that time and everyone wanted him in, in, in their movies, who was this animated, this conversational, this, uh, uh, what do I say, just this, this real person. So I was in shock. And the fact that he respected my father so much, the fact that he showed that respect meant the world to me because up to that point I felt like my father had not had the best run at the movies, um, you know, even with certain people and relationships. And when I saw Shah Rukh give him that love, I think I fell in love with Shah Rukh at that moment because I saw the love he gave my father and that to me meant the world. Nothing else mattered. There's a lovely insight also when you talk about your father. I think that was beautiful. Where you said that uh, despite him achieving success by the time you started working together, in his head, he was still um, like a production person. So it was his instinct to carry the bags of stars yeah. or open car doors for them. And, and which my I, mother uh, went horse yeah, trying to tell him, yeah. Yash, you're a producer. You're not a production manager. You can't, you shouldn't be doing these things. But it's but wonderful it was that you share instinct. it. It was his instinct. He couldn't help it. He just couldn't, like whatever. And it was like, and I, of course, was born like I was a movie star in my head. Even though I had nothing, in my head, I was always royalty. Uh, for some reason, I don't know where, my mother always said, I don't know where you came from. Uh, because, you know, I, do, I don't, didn't have their value system. And I was always somebody who lived beyond my means. Uh, it was because I was pampered by my father. It was, he allowed me to believe that. He really, when I was 150 kilos fat, thought I had five kilos of puppy weight that I should lose. Uh, he thought I was the most gorgeous looking son. I was, could have been a film hero, knowing very well I knew my personality would not allow me to be a lead in a Hindi film at all. But he thought he could have launched me. When we were talking about my first film, he said, tu thoda patla ho ja, tu kar sakta hai hero ka kaam. And I was like, at that point, I was like, how do I get love and, uh, and balance it with delusion? Uh, because, you know, my mother secretly, I think, always knew that I was not meant for certain things. But my father just loved me unabashedly. <laughs>